Hi, I'm Cindy Kruger and today I'm going to show you how to run your consolidation batch in Legal Suite and create your consolidation invoices. In my previous tutorial called the Consolidation Setup, I explained each of the different methods of consolidation and how to set them up per matter. This is now I'm going to show you how to run the consolidation batch. You go to the Special Batches tab and you go to the fourth option which is Consolidation. Okay, here you can filter if you only want to do the consolidation for one specific client or matter or document set or cost center or employee or group. But just remember that you need to run a consolidation on all your consolidated matters before creating invoices as the invoices won't be created if there's outstanding consolidation still to be run. So you click on OK. The system will run through and it will scan and it will find all the matters that are set up to consolidate and it will create journal batches for you. So if you have a look at one transaction, it's a journal going from the individual matter to the main account for the amount of money that's being transferred. You can go and print this batch out if you like. You can keep a hard copy of it. So we'll show you what it looks like. Remember, every batch in Legal Suite can be reprinted, so that just shows you all the transactions that form this consolidated batch. You, all reports in Legal Suite, all batch reports, can be reprinted at any stage through the batch audit screen. Once you are happy that all the transactions are correct, you'll click on Post. It will ask you, do you want to post the batch? You say OK. And it will run through and it will post the consolidation. What this is doing is it's taking the balance from the individual matters and consolidating it to the main account. So if I go and I have a look at my matters, you'll see that all my individual accounts now have a zero balance, but my main consolidated account has the balance of all the debit and credit transactions It has the balance, likewise for my Edgar's account. All the individual matters are set to consolidate to this account, and that's the balance owed on this account. So now how do we create the invoices? What you'll do is you'll go to the little page with a green cross on it and then it's going to ask you would you like to create invoices? So you say create invoices. You say OK. And if you go and you have a look at, at that invoice, you go view the invoices for this matter and you go and you print this invoice and it will show you all the individual, it will show you a statement on this account it kept that it had from matter 15,196 Rand and it came from matter LLLA and it shows you what it was made up of. And that's how you run the consolidation and create invoices on your consolidated accounts.